I totally forgot that I actually had this Pokemon prepared long time ago that I would like to use in the Go Battle League in the Master League with you guys and that is boom Tapu Fini yes a Tapu Fini that is a Hundo and it's already powered up to level 50 the reason why I kind of forgot about this is because um, I actually uh, don't have other Hundo Tapus at all but it's okay we'll use this together so hi hi to all of you guys so yes, uh, this Tapu Fini is the one that does not have the Nature's Madness and I thought, um, you know, uh, I really do not have a Hundo Tapu at all. I've done close to a thousand uh, raids for all the four Tapu combined but um, did only get one uh, Hundo which is quite unfortunate. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to give it a new attack, alright, and then uh, we're also going to give it a uh, Nature's Madness in order to get that we have to Elite uh, Charge TM8. Alright, it's a signature move that the Tapus would get and I'm going to give it to the first slot. I'm actually supposed to have Surf on it but I'm going to give it to the first slot so that the Nature's Madness is on the left. Alright, I prefer to have that on the left. Alright, great, there we go. Um, I do wish that Niantic allows us to switch the order of our moves. Alright, so I mean obviously I would have saved uh, my Charge DM right now. I would have just... Uh, I would have just uh, Elite Charge DM the last... The second slot and then after that just uh, reverse the order uh, but now I just have to spend a total of um, I believe uh, five uh, charge DMs all right so water gun nature's madness and also surf that's the move set that you want to get all right let's go ahead to go back to league let's go to here let's go to here and let's go ahead into master league so this is the team I'll be using I'll be using my Zerud together with Mewtwo and this Mewtwo is a bit different because this Mewtwo is the one with focus blast the reason why I'm using the one with Focus Blast is because I already have Zerud which will take care of Mewtwo which also will take care of Giratina. Hoping that the Mewtwo doesn't have to face up against those two Pokemon. Um, of course, uh, even if the Mewtwo faces up against Giratina, I will still use Size Strike on it. Um, but um, the Mewtwo would have an issue when I have a mirror match against it. But anyway, first Pokemon is Dragonite. Not a very good start exactly for our dear Zerud but I mean... Uh, if our Nature's Madness user actually do face up against it, it will be better. So Nature's Madness is kind of a upgrade from uh, the previous fairy type moves, which is uh, Moon Blast, as uh, the damage and the energy required is pretty decent, despite the fact that energy damage per energy is not as high as um, the Moon Blast, but it has a hundred percent chance to debuff the opponent's defense by one stage, whereas the other move, and I do think I will survive that uh, um, sh Dragon Claw, it's not a Shadow Dragonite, so we don't have to, um, the, to shoot that. Okay, so um, the Moon Blast has a 10% chance to reduce the opponent's attack by one stage, whereas uh, the Nature's Madness is the defense by uh, one stage, but it's a 100% chance for that to happen. So right now, I'm going to bring in my Mewtwo. Okay, we're gonna farm down the dragon. Having energy on the Mewtwo is actually more um, crucial. Alright, let's see what's the next Pokemon that comes in. It is going to be Metagross. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna charge up to a Focus Blast. Okay, switching into that. Okay, let's go with this then. He thought I'm gonna go with the Shadow Ball, but hello. This is gonna be fun. If you don't shoot this, I wish I'm using a Shadow Mewtwo, but BOOM! <laughs> One shot KO to your Snorlax, bro. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna shoot up our Mewtwo. Okay, we're gonna go with our side strike bait. If he actually uh, takes the bait for the side strike, great. And then uh, after that, we are just gonna go with uh, the focus blast. Okay, my uh, focus blast is ready, so uh, he may think that I'm going with another focus blast. I do hope he shoots this. Please shoot this. Okay, great, awesome. Now we're gonna go with the focus blast. Okay, we should be able to get to the focus blast before another. Ah, crap. We ain't able to. I was hoping we can. Um, not sure if we can now, but uh, we will try. If we can't, then we will just go with a side strike. Alright, do a little bit of chip damage. 
Okay, let's go with a side strike now again. He may think, like I said, I'm going with a focus blast and he's going to double shoot this. I mean, it's Mewtwo with focus blast, which is going to hurt like crazy. Okay, can I get to the focus blast though? I think I can. Okay, we are good. We are just one uh, bullet punch away from being uh, taken out. So this is going to do a crazy amount of damage. See, luckily I chose the, the focus blast and boom, one shot KO again. The Tapu Fini didn't even do anything. Um... So, sorry, we are going to use it in the next battle, okay, hopefully. And not just Mewtwo doing its thing. Yeah, Mewtwo, just hold back a bit, okay? Hold back a bit, don't have to be so strong, okay? Thank you very much. So yeah, Mewtwo with Focus Blast does insane, you know, against, of course, uh, Melmetal, against uh, Dialga, and of course, against Snorlax. You guys saw that one-shot KO the Snorlax. Okay, we got Dialga in the house against our Zerud. Kind of a pretty okay start for us okay i mean other than the fact that it's going to double resist our fast moves our vine weed right now which is quite unfortunate okay so uh what we're going to do is is we're going to go ahead to um go with our zerud's dark powers all the way and then uh, later on we will see if we like to bring in our tapu fini which it will double resist the dragon breath but of course um the thing is uh we won't be able to do a lot of damage to the... Oh, actually, we got the Nature's Madness. I keep forgetting we got the Nature's Madness. <laughs> okay, but we may have to shield up the Iron Head. I'm not too sure how tanky Tapu Fini is. I can't really, really remember. Okay, he decided to use his shield. Okay, all good. Let's go ahead to bring in our Tapu Fini now. Okay, all good. I mean, we do suffer neutral damage from the Iron Head. We're not going to suffer super effective damage because of the water typing or so. So we're going to let it go through. Just to see uh, how much damage that deals. Okay, that's about almost uh, 40 plus percent. Okay, we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with the Nature's Madness. Okay, switching into Kyogre. Uh, kind of an okay thing for us. In fact, it is good. Yeah, thank you, I guess. Okay, go with Nature's Madness. Uh, yeah, okay, defense has fallen. Okay, we're gonna go with another Nature's Madness if we can, hopefully. Um, thinking if we should go with double nature madness to actually debuff the Kyogre so our Mewtwo can have an easier time against it. Although having double shield on the Mewtwo would also be great. Okay, but uh, let's just go with this. And then our Mewtwo can possibly farm down the Kyogre after it's been debuffed twice. I would think it is possible. Okay, 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 debuffed already. I think I'm gonna bring the Mewtwo straight. Okay, all good. Gonna use the um, Tapu Fini as a third shield at the same time. I do not want him to farm down my Tapu Fini as well, and he has a chance to double serve my uh, Mewtwo. So we're gonna go ahead to farm down the Kyogre. Okay, we are down to half health already. That's not very good. Um, let's see what's he gonna do, man. Okay, bringing in a Psychic type Pokemon. That's gonna be Mewtwo. That is not good for us. Okay, bringing in uh, the Dialga again. Okay, I will have to shoot this. Uh, that doesn't look promising, man. Doesn't look promising at all, man. Oh my god. Nope, not good. Totally not good. Totally not good. If I'm him, I would not shield this. Let it go through. Then after that, um, use save the shield for my against my Mewtwo. But the problem is my Mewtwo isn't running Shadow Ball, so I wouldn't be able to get to my move uh, quicker than him. So um, good luck to me. Yeah, I'm out of shields or so. So what could I have done better, man? Uh, nothing that I can think of. Okay, all good, all good, all good, not good, we lost. Yep, Con congrats to me. Yeah, so uh, we're going to go into the next battle now, but you guys can see um, Tapu Fini is not exactly the best, best in uh, the wrong situation. But against that, Kyogre was still okay. Although um, I got hit by the Iron Head first, so my health wasn't uh, high enough. So... Maybe we should have shoot up against the Iron Head. Maybe that was the right play. Maybe I should have done that. Alright, but I also depend... Oh, okay, we got a very good start right now. Against Mewtwo. Okay, it's a level 51. Alright, Mewtwo. Okay, I don't have to shoot that at all. Yeah, it's a level 51 Mewtwo. And it's a Hundo. Side Strike, yep, go ahead. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We are just gonna stay put. 3, 4, we're gonna go with Dark Pulse now. Okay, let's see if he's gonna shoot this or not. Okay, he has done uh, five uh, psycho cuts. Okay, five psycho cuts. 
Okay, great, great. He's probably gonna go with another side strike. No, nope. okay, we're gonna then uh, take out the Mewtwo. Bringing in Dialga now. Okay, it is not the origin form. So after this, we are gonna bring in the uh, Tapu Fini to just handle the Dialga all the way, hopefully. Okay, hopefully. Hello, my opponent. Don't sleep, yeah? Okay, okay, great, 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 great. Great, we should be able to survive uh, the Iron Hit. I was going to say survive the Iron Hit if we ain't able to get to the Dark Pulse. But looking at the damage coming in right now, we probably wouldn't be able to survive it anymore. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, um, nope, we can't get to another Dark Pulse already. But it's okay, good enough. Satisfied with uh, the work that our dear Zerud has done. Two Dragon Breath, boom, actually one. <laughs> it's down. Okay, there we go. We're going to bring in Tapu Fini now. Okay, now let's see. Tapu Fini using Nature's Madness will also do neutral damage to the Dialga. I'm gonna shield this now since we are showcasing Tapu Fini, right? We might even double shield our Tapu Fini, okay? We will have to see how. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Let's go with Nature's Madness. I mean, I was thinking to go with the Surf Bait, but I would think that my opponent wouldn't shield this, so I'm gonna go with that. Great. And then we're gonna go with Nature's Madness against on the next Pokemon, and that is Giratina. Mm hmm. So, Giratina, we're gonna go with Nature's Madness. In fact, if we can, we're gonna go with Double Nature Madness. Okay. I'm thinking if I like to shield this, though. I'm thinking if I like to shield this. Uh, it could be an Ominous Wind Bait. So, I'm not gonna shield this. Okay, this ominous win. Great! Perfect, perfect. Okay, did not get boosted or so. 10% chance to actually get boosted for both the attack and defense. Now I will have to shield up. Um, right, do we shield up? Mm, yes, we should. We would shield up. Okay, bring in our Mewtwo after this. Okay, let's go with Nature's Madness again. We, our Mewtwo would survive the Shadow Ball. Yep, and then after that we would uh, be able to um, win, hopefully. Okay, bring in this. Bring the Mewtwo now, let's go, double debuff already, but the problem is even if double debuff and I don't land a side strike, we will still lose, okay, Mewtwo is going to win the CMP tie, let's go. Let's go Mewtwo, 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 now, boom! Yay, okay, we won another one, awesome, not bad, not bad, the Nature's Madness was kind of redundant because uh, the opponent was still going to get one shot KO by the side strike with that amount of health left. Well, we're going to jump straight into the fourth battle now, as I waited for my screen recording to uh, save. So, alright, let's go ahead to see what our opponent has, alright? Let's see Zerud against Giratina. Very, very good start for us. Okay, it's a level uh, 50 Hundo Giratina. Okay, all good, all good. Just hope he doesn't have Dragon Pals. Even if he has, it's totally fine. Okay, bring it in Mel Metal. Thinking though, thinking though, Mel Metal, Mel Metal, Mel Metal, Mel Metal. Thinking how I should handle the Mel Metal. Okay, all good. Super power will hurt, but uh, let's go with that. Gonna s okay, I think he has used his charge move. I might want to shoot up just in case it is his super power. Okay, yes, he has used his charge move. Uh, I'm gonna shoot this. Um, probably bring in the Tapu Fini to farm down the to farm down the um, Mel Metal since it's already suffered a debuff. I mean, Rock Spike will still do decent to us in terms of damage, but we're trying to farm up the energy on our Tapu Fini so that we can use Nature's Madness on the next Pokemon. Okay, I hope we can farm it down before another Rock Spike comes in. Please, oh my God, so close! Not good enough. I think one more water gun it would have been enough to knock it out, but um, unfortunately, all right, it went for superpower instead. Smart choice. All right, let's see what's my opponent gonna bring in. Are you gonna bring in your Giratina? Giratina, Giratina. My nature's madness is ready. I'm thinking whether it is gonna be Shadow Ball. I'm calling it not Shadow Ball. And oh shit, it is Shadow. Oh my God! Come on, we survived that. That was insane. Less than 50% health Tapu Fini survived a Shadow Ball. That is so insane if you ask me. Alright, we're gonna bring in the Zerud again, of course. Okay, our switch clock is uh, up, so we are good. We don't have to, um, we don't have to, yeah, we are just gonna go ahead with it, man. Okay, it's a level 51 Hundo uh, Dialga that just came out. Okay, all good. Let's go with double uh, Dark Pulse. 
Okay, opponent are not shilling that. Interesting, interesting. We're gonna go with this now. I'm thinking though, how am I gonna handle uh, these two dragons with the mons that I have? Especially, I mean, I have Mewtwo at the back, but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Mewtwo isn't uh, too good against it. Uh, Side Strike would be enough to uh, knock out the um, Giratina already. So I'm gonna let this go through. I just need to save the shoe for that okay if i'm him i actually would save uh up to a draco meteor okay let's go with that let's go with that let's go with that let's go with that doesn't look good for us this is not good this doesn't look good at all the iron hit's gonna hurt okay there we go yeah if i'm him i actually would shield up in that situation now i would shield up i just went with one extra cycle card which isn't the right thing to do yeah, I will shoot up against the Shadow Ball, assuming my opponent is running Shadow Ball on the Mewtwo. Okay, did not go with that. Now we're okay. If it's Shadow Ball, of course we lose, but then um, the size, the, 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 the Shadow Claws are still gonna hurt. Okay, he still has one sh Shadow Ball. Okay, that was quite sad to see, although we had a very, very good lead. How did that happen? How did that happen? What's the second Pokemon that my opponent brought out? Oh, I can't even remember. What in the world was that? Oh my god, that was quite sad to see, but uh, yeah, the Double Dragon team annihilated our team. Wow, I'm actually quite uh, surprised. But anyway, enough of talking, focus more, let's go, we gotta win this. Okay, now let's see, got Mewtwo in the house, a purified Mewtwo, and we definitely will have to win this one now. It's a 4622 CP, okay, bringing in Dialga now. Okay, we're gonna go with one uh, Dark Pulse before we actually switch into our... Switch into our switch into our uh, Tapu Fini. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Switching into Tapu Fini now. Okay, okay. All good. I was hoping that he would go with Raw of Time, but uh, unfortunately not. Okay, we will still be able to survive. Uh, of course, the first Iron Head, and we will see if our opponent is going to shield our Nature's Madness or not, and then we will play accordingly. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, please get to Nature's Madness. Okay, we have to shoot this. <laughs> if we don't shoot this, we cannot get to our nature's madness. So we will actually become madness over here. We will turn into a mad person here. Okay, um, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Okay. And um, thinking if I should actually just bring in Mewtwo after this, even if my opponent were to shoot or not shoot. Okay, deciding to not shoot that. It's probably going to bring in the Mewtwo. Okay, bring in the Mewtwo. Now we are going to go with Surf. Just do a little bit of chip damage. Okay, and then uh, Zerud can actually handle the Mewtwo. I just hope the Mewtwo doesn't have like Ice Beam or Flamethrower. Those two will be very devastating on our uh, Zerud. Okay, and now let's see. He's probably going to use Side Strike first. Okay, Side Strike. Are you going to use Side Strike? Okay, it is Side Strike. Then we're going to bring in our Zerud. Okay, bring in in uh, that uh, Zacian. We're going to go with Power Whip. Gonna whip the Zacian one time before we switch into our Mewtwo, and then uh, Mewtwo will then handle this, uh, the 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 Zacian with ease. Okay, okay, there we go. Let's go with this first. We're gonna pressure the shield. We're not even gonna in, uh, synchronize the fast moves at all. Let's see. Gonna probably shield up. New it, new it. Okay, now that he's out of shields, very simple. Um, not gonna shield this. I'm gonna save the shield for my Zerud. Okay, just in case, alright, uh, he's running like Ice Beam or Flamethrower. Seriously, it could potentially be, do, be those two moves and it will probably almost one-shot KO our Zerud. Now that he has done the double wild charges, we're going to farm down the uh, Zacian. I think he knows what's going to happen. I'm going to farm down the Zacian, Dark Pulse the Mewtwo and that's it. Okay, so we won. We won the last battle. Not bad. After losing two, I think we lost twice, right? I think we did. Yeah, we lost twice. That's quite sad. Could have won one if we actually uh, played a little bit better. I mean, we had a really good lead. But uh, that was quite um, dumb of me. Yep. So I think that's all, man, in terms of how uh, Tapu Fin. I'm still getting the sleepers for some good reason. Yeah, very, very funny. But um, that's how it is. So that's how, in terms of how uh, the Tapu Fini uh, performs in the... Master League with Nature's Madness is a Pokemon that is really, really good. Rank 50-something in the Master League. In fact, this plus Tapu Bulu, they are both rank 50-something. The Tapus, after getting Nature's Madness, they actually uh, got boosted like crazy for both the Ultra League and also Master League. But I'll recommend using...
thing for either as they are really really good with the nature's madness as it's a 100% chance to debuff the opponent's defense especially in the ultra league all right so that's it from me man if you guys enjoyed this video definitely remember to leave a like on the video be much appreciated thank you very much and i'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video all right i remember that you exist don't worry i'll see you soon okay maybe in the ultra league all right so goodbye goodbye good bye